We're speaking with Dr. Rama Mani, who's a senior research associate with the Center for International Studies at Oxford. She's on the board of the World Future Council, on the Academic Council for the United Nations, and importantly, a co-convener of an organization called Agents for Transformation. Hello, Rama. Hello. What a pleasure. <laughs> it's lovely to have you speaking with us. I have a few questions for you. And, and one is that I know that you work extensively and have a belief in art as an uh, element that can help uh, help to shape and form communities. So the, the first question, I guess, would be a simple one, and that's to say, could you describe your perspective on art uh, and how you have engaged with it? Uh, yes, what I've been absolutely delighted to find here is it obviously, like nothing in the world, was not, a, it obviously was not a coincidence that of the many places we saw, this was the one which struck us as having soul, because I discover more and more every day how across the valley in all of the little villages there are these initiatives which cover the whole valley and are accessible to the whole valley of um, different ways in which creativity is being brought to the fore and being made a central part of life. The couple of initiatives that I've been most involved with, especially over the last five years, I would say the first we came, we bought this house in 2001, so barely 13 months after I had that vision mm -hmm. in Somaliland. Um, it, uh, and the first several years I was a commuter, so came here really to find a refuge which nature gave me um, as someone growing up in Bombay uh, with, in a concrete jungle that hadn't had this experience of how nature can be our greatest healer, our greatest source of creativity. So it was primarily that, but in the last five years, since I've lived here full time, despite a very active travel schedule, I've been able to discover much more. For example, a couple that came here uh, from Strasbourg, he is a German, she is a, a, a Brit Briton from Brittany, and they've created for the whole valley an organization, you'll love the name, Val Muse, so the idea of the muses. So one of the very active organizations here, which is absolutely delightful, uh, is Val Muse, Val referring to our valley, uh, Val Romé, and Muse, of course, the muses. And what I love is, as you remember, the muses covered all the different uh, kinds of art. And so this offers to children all the way up to many people of, uh, are retired and have finally found a chance to indulge their creativity, gives them courses in every kind of art you can imagine from the lute. So we have lots of lute players, uh, people playing ancient instruments, um, medieval music, all the way to contemporary theater and jazz and fusion, uh, as well as, as choir. I participated in the choir and for the first time tried to learn unsuccessfully how to play the piano myself. Sure. And so you have all of these classes with regular and, and, shows. And some rap music, I understand, also. The is rap it? is my son. I'm not <laughs> sure they're teaching that, but it definitely whatever my son picked up in his theater classes yes. Yes. helped him to, yes. to contribute to his rap. Um, and what is also fascinating is that these are only possible because this couple is able to draw on their global network mm. of professional musicians mm. who love the idea that in between their trips around the world and working in very famous conservatories of music in Lyon or, or Geneva, they come on the weekends and at a very low cost offer these classes to people in this rural community who would never have access to it. Mm -hmm. And what we also get is world famous musicians or artists coming and exhibiting here. For example, it's a practice show in one of our um, churches here before they go off to perform in Argentina mm -hmm. or wherever. So it brings the world in here and at the same time provides a beautiful space for local people who are here because they've been here forever for generations or have moved here by choice for a different kind of lifestyle. So that's one of them, but so many of this kind, and what we do find is many artists too who have moved from different parts of the world 
Just across there is a German musician who conducts master classes in a tiny little uh, house in a picturesque spot in the valley for famous musicians who come around and work intensively. There is um, a British a painter, a visual artist who unfortunately is not here this weekend, who likewise has come and settled here. And what I love is most of them manage to find a way to balance their international commitments with their deep involvement of the community. Uh, there's also a world-class world photographer who lives just down in our village. So it's both, it's people from the community who are reaching out and then people from outside who come in mm -hmm. um, and this interaction happens. Mm -hmm. But there has mm -hmm. been this extraordinary necklace that's mm -hmm. been created through art. And I cannot see mm -hmm. how it could have happened without art because more than just the schools, which of course bring together kids from different places, mm -hmm. These art activities bring together children and adults from different villages across the valley, from the bigger towns I mentioned, as well as from the tiny little hamlets. Mm -hmm. That's one. So far, what I loved from what I saw about Grain Store and that superb documentary made about it and about Nathalia is you, what Grain Store has provided is a physical space which provides the continuity. So far, what happens is there are spaces which are completely for the use of the citizens of this area, for the community, but they come, have their activity, and then they clean it up and they disappear. And then the next time something else comes, right. uses the space. So, and I think seeing what Grain Store is doing makes me feel it would be beautiful mm -hmm. for there to be a space. There is a move to create an associative restaurant which would provide such a space, a, mm -hmm. a convivial communal space for all the kinds of arts to happen continuously. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure that will come about in a beautiful little village called Champagne, yeah. which is about 12 kilometers from here and has become this kind of art hub. Um, I would love it if maybe we can offer such a space here yeah. over time. We would, I'm beginning to think, having seen what I saw of the green store, yeah. that would be lovely that there's a physical space that's open to people where they can come and yeah. maybe one time it's just one person painting doing a mural or uh, maybe one time it's a whole group doing a group project so who knows mm -hmm. but I, I think very soon we will see such a place coming up in the region what i personally would love given my passionate engagement in conflict in different communities around the world and what's been a bit difficult for me but which was the dream that originally brought me here was i was absolutely convinced as i know that you've always been bill and uh, veronica as well but in your global work, promoting peace and human rights and nonviolence through these initiatives at the global level, you've always balanced it with this deep engagement with the local community.